half an hour. My dear, who's his hairdresser? Sergeant so just got the latest unemployment figures. Well, you better give him a couple more wrinkles. I'll be chucking it in soon. <laughs> run me out of town. See ya. See ya. Back or something. What do you mean? You missed last week's rehearsal, too. I need the money, OK? Yeah, me too. We make anything this afternoon? No one does here, mate. Listen, Martin, if you can't make rehearsals, why don't you find yourself a new band? Oh, you mean one with a real singer? What do you mean a real singer? One who sings the songs. Not some bum wiggling face puller who thinks he's fronting the stones. Jagger's got 20 years start, mate. I thought we were going to do something new. We are. Oh, whatever happened to the songs, mate? Hey, I write the songs. What do you do? Usually I watch you stuff them. So that's it, I guess. OK. OK, if that's what you want. Sorry, Marty. It's OK, mate. Another day, another band. I'll see you around, then.
shot. Maybe I already got the last shot. Hey, listen, that looks heavy. You want a hand? Here, get your in. I've <laughs> got a week back. I've got it a week back. Good day, my name's Daryl. Two R's, two L's, don't wear it out. Can I carry your guitar? Why don't you carry the guitar, eh? I'll carry the guitar. Well, you're Martin. No. You used to play with a clammy tire. It's a killer band. I saw all your gigs. All five, huh? No, six, counting the one in your backyard. And then you join this band, which you're out of now, of course. And I just realised, you live about five miles away, don't you? We can catch a bus. I'll pay. Only don't you live with that singer that you just had that... I've got a great idea. Tell you what, I live in this amazing warehouse, mate. It's just that you could leave your gear there. It's just down the road, well, around a, well, a few corners Oi. down. Yeah. Do you ever breathe, mate? Oh, yeah, then you join Bowl of Spinach. No, what am I saying? Savage news agents. Then Bowl of Spinach. Then you form the incredibly depressed men. I saw them all. You know, it's a pity Bowl of Spinach broke up. That band could have been it. Could have been the one. Amazing warehouse, eh? Yeah. We used to be a bootlace factory. I've got a million bootlaces out the back. Yeah, well, I don't reckon I've used a bootlace in ten years, Daryl. Yeah, uh, what type of music do you like? Country. Country? Don't you like country? Oh, mate, oh, I love country. I come from the country. Yeah, where? Blacktown. Pretty close. Coffee? You can have first cup. We've got a temporary big cup shortage. Nothing to worry about, though. Listen, I'm thinking of running those places a gig. Daryl's dump. Your new band could play here. Oh, plus I got access to all this video equipment from tech, so it's going to be a studio as well. I can make you film clips. I'm, uh, I'm doing communications. Thanks, Daryl. Oh, listen, tons of rooms, tons of rooms. You want a room, you just pull up the corner. You got any friends? One or two. Well, they can have a room too if they like. Great. What's the rent? Rent? Chicken feet, mate, chicken feet. Once this place is operating, it'll pay for itself. It's all here, mate. Except the fridge. Any of your friends got fridges? Lassero d'argento, placite l'onda, prospero il vento. Che visino che hai, quanto sei bellino. Well, I'm set for tonight. So, how have you been surviving? Actually, got about 50 bucks for my name. Now I did a million auditions and I worked in a boutique. Plus I made a few of my own jackets and things and tried to flog them around. Any luck? Saw one or two. Not bad for three years, eh? Mm. Then I just decided to get out of town, see if I'm fashionable up here. Mm, but coat's fantastic. Forty bucks and it's yours. Carol, thirty-five. <laughs> Look, are you definite about giving acting away? No, I think it gave me away. When you were my agent, you know how hard it was for me to get work. It was worse in Melbourne. You're a bit, um... Well, you don't make it easy for them to type you. You saying I'm weird? It just oh. takes time. Everything takes time. I'm 25, I want something now. Well, there's an audition going this afternoon. A uh, commercial you wouldn't like. I'd like it. I'd love it even. <laughs> They're looking for the all-around sportswoman. Oh, good. I'm heavily into sports. Che bel vicino che hai, quanto sei carino, ma sei veramente carina. Dad! Don't encourage him, okay? He's got a bad heart. Yeah, don't encourage him. He's got a bad heart. Martin! How's it going, mate? Haven't seen you for months. Three years. Hey, Dad, play us another song, will you? By the way, do you know Carol? Carol? Dad, Dad, Carol? Hello. Carol. That's the father of the Australian Capuchin. Hello. So, how have you been? Oh, all right. Gee, it's good to see you. Um, Martin, this is Julie, my ex-agent and confidant. Hi. Julie, hello. So, are you living around here again? Not living anywhere yet. Sat at Jane's place last night. Any ideas? Mm. I'm just sitting here waiting for people to turn up. Knew if I waited long enough, you'd show. Yeah, it must be the music they play here, I reckon. Mm, it's very continental. Mm. When can I move in? You're in. Great! What's he like? Well, he's probably an axe murderer. I only met him last night. Oh, great! When can I move out? <laughs> There's uh, no light in the bathroom, unfortunately, so it's going to have to double as a dark room. Oh, listen, Carol, about moving in. Although this place will be a total gold mine when it's truly operating, you don't have to decide so quickly, OK? Well, I decided to Oh, no, 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 please. Take your time. Zero in on the concept of uh, communal living in megabucks. Well, if you would just... Here's a little turbo head. 
Oh, looks like you two got on well. He's got real bad breath, that boy. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> I'm going to call this shot. The singer and the omelette. Ever seen so much egg on one person's face? <laughs> oh, Carol, about the rent. You don't have to worry about it. Money is no expense. Well, money wasn't what... Hey, tell him when he's asleep. His mouth stops then. You know what I really want to do? No. Neither do I. I can go to auditions, or I can make great clothes, but everything is either what they wanted last year or what they want in five years. See, it's all tiny. Okay, okay. Let's eat. What's that? Toast, mate. Australia's national dish. Fair enough. Shh. Don't anybody move. It must be the guy for the rent. Rats. What is the rent? It's a chicken feed. Take your time, take your time. I mean, Fantastic. Have you got a fridge? Best it in Melbourne, sorry. Ah. Oh, no worries. I wonder how much the freight costs from Melbourne is a long way. Come in, come in. Come in, Nick. I'm George. Uh, Nick's my brother. Are you Darrell? Daryl, mate, Daryl. Uh, my brother asked me to pick up the rent. Uh, sorry, it's over a week late. And the rest of last week's. He said, you said last week that you'd give him the other half next week, which is this week, man. Right. Was that last week? Oh, I thought it was this week and I was going to get it to him next week. I know you. You're the guy that dances at all our gigs. Oh, mate, say, come in, George. Come in. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Hi. George, Hi. Hi. Well, I better tart myself up, put on my sporty face. Carol's got an audition. Well, oh, no such luck. Oh, you know, I really like that guitar. You use that guitar in the, the Clammy Toads and in Bowl of Spinach and in Savage News Agents. I've seen all your bands. Oh, a light would be handy, Daryl. Yeah. I didn't see you at the Clammy Toads backyard party. Oh, well, I wasn't invited, so I hid in the dark. <laughs> you know, I've seen all your bands, the ashtrays and the incredibly depressed men and the lone sharks, the lone... Yeah, you forgot Nancy's blouse. How'd I do that? Nancy's blouse was a thing. <laughs> yes, yes, Mr. Quinn, I promise you. When it's cold here, it's warm in Omsk. Just drop by and pick up the ticket, OK? Bye, yeah. Mrs. Pappas. Now, look about those photographs. They're written. Mrs. Pappas. Mrs. Pappas. Now, look, those photographs, they're fine. Just drop by and pick them up, OK? Bye, yeah. Now, uh, can I help you? What, uh, what? Now, what do you mean you didn't get the rent? You were gone for three and a quarter hours. I had a pie on the way. What? I had a pie on the way. You had a pie in the way. In Perth? George, George, try to remember. What happened at the warehouse? We, we talked. Good, good, I'm glad you talked. Now, did the subject of the rent come up? At the start. What about the middle and the end? No. You were gone for three and a quarter hours. I bet that guy, Daryl. Daryl. He's a weirdo, George. He promised last week he'd pay next week, which is... I'll kill him. What did you talk about? Music. Me How can you talk about music for three and a quarter hours? Oh, we had a cup of coffee, too. You know, they're so poor, they can only afford one coffee cup. What do you mean, they? There's three of them now. Three? And they're all poor, I suppose. We were poor once. You were never poor. Dad was poor. I was semi-poor, but you were never poor. But if you had your way, we'd all be poor. Lucky I'm the younger brother, eh? <laughs> George Palopoulos. Oh, uh, OK. Listen, can I talk to you about it later? OK, see you, Daryl. He wants to borrow some coffee cups. We've got any spares. Sure. The gold ones. We'll get a chauffeur to deliver them. I worry about you, George! What's the matter, Daz? Don't you like country music? Not hip enough for you? Oh, man, I've, I've never really listened to it. What's it all about? Love and treachery and how many roads can a man walk down? I know that. Is that all? Is that all? It's plenty. It's all there is. Mate, what's this? Drum machine. 
Fantastic, and this? 410, 200 recordings on it. Recordings? Oh, you've got the room with most of the, most of the PowerPoints. That's good. Some rock mag will pay a fortune for these one day, mate. Yeah, you're gonna sell your socks? The photos, mate, the photos. And I call it Killer Musical Differences Rear Their Ugly Heads at Strawberry Hills. Yeah, try in your undies and leave out the photos and you'll probably do okay. What's wrong with the photos? Uh, it's just another turkey guitarist leaving another turkey band. Mate, what's occurring? Are you a bit down, are you? Well, I know I'm an okay guitarist. Mate, player. come on, come on, you're a dynamite axeman. 10,000 dynamite axemen swapping bands every day. They're a dime a dozen. The songs are important. I want to write songs. Well, there you go. Write dynamite songs. There's one problem. What? I write lousy songs. Oh. Well, this is our scenario. Sex is out, health is in. Simple. Shirley? Thank you, Derek. Our client is launching a coordinated range of sporting wear and sports equipment for the woman in sport. So, so we're looking for a sporty, the sporty... But not unattractive. The all-round sportswoman's woman. A good-looking jock. Jockhead. So how does that feel? Good. The helmet's a bit tight. Well, that'll be the size. Colour's nice. Yes, it's an attractive range. Should do very well with the correct marketing. Watch for the wrong one. <coughs> <coughs> nice shot. Nice arms. Our sportswoman's woman has to be very versatile. How's your goal? Oh, it's okay. Pretty good. Oh, it's a while since I picked up a golf bat. <laughs> Try the tracksuit. Swim? Oh, will I have to wear a swimming costume? That is what we're marketing, darling. Of course. Can you sit a horse? What? So, if you think country music's the go, why don't you try and write a country song? Because there's nothing worse than a really bad country song. Ah, the badder the better, I reckon. You just write them, I'll sell them. Okay. This here is a little old tune about how a man can think he's on a dusty road to somewhere, and he's actually on a rusty railroad to somewhere else. Think. <laughs> Sounds fine to me, partner. Well, I didn't write it. I'm sure I still know how it feels. Fantastic. Don't do it again. 
The product is aimed at serious athletes, stressing technique and discipline. Hmm. So everything has to be believable. Away you go. Oh, go on, go on. Nice legs. And butterfly? Butterfly. Butterfly. Butterfly across the carpet. Please. How about high diving? May we please have the butterfly? Okay. <gasps> Not splashing you, am I? You don't seem to be taking this seriously. Oh, no, I'm always serious when I swim across the floor. You may go now. I suppose I'll never work in this town again. Goodbye. I only just got here, too. Thanks for the swim. See you, gang. Trial of Ant